Oh, curses. Where's the dragon root? It grew here this time last year. The frostfall should have helped with the spring bloom. Maybe I'm in the wrong place. All that happened two summers back. <sighs> Aki, you nearly wandered to Runica before brother brought you back. Maybe it's over here. Oh. Hello. I know the weather's nice, but the ground's a strange place to be taking a nap. Are you alright? You look a little... confused. Where are you? You're in the forest of Zetria, silly. We're on the border of Runica. Wait. Do you not know where you are? Well, do you remember how you got here? You remember falling. From the sky? No, no, I believe you. It's just you look a little... Out of sorts. You're not from around here, are you? I mean, you're dressed more than a little strange. Oh, I don't mean anything by that. I should probably introduce myself. I'm Akihiko, but you can call me Aki. What's your name? Yeah. Weird name. No, no, I, I think it's cute. Well, I'm an apothecary. Well, I'm trying to be an apothecary. But let me look you over. You look like you picked up some scrapes that you'd use tending to. What? Hey, what? what are you staring at? My ears? And tail? Well, well, stop it. It's embarrassing. Just stop staring and let me get a good look at you. I need to check for a concussion and I need to see those scratches. Huh? What am I? Well, I'm a Nekajin, or a Neko for short, but I'm told that people can usually guess that by the fluffy white ears and tail. You've never seen one before? You must really be a long way from home. Now, hold still and let me get a good look at you. Nothing here. Oh. Oh. You've got a bit of a scratch here. Oh, no, don't worry, it's not deep. I think I have a salve in my pack. That should be more than enough to fix you up. Uh, just give me a second. Widow's Bane, not that, that'd be painful. Arachne Venom, oh, definitely not that. Ah, here we are, Rock Flower Salve. Uh, take a look. <laughs> what do you think? Just give me a second to shake it up to activate it. You see, the salve has certain reactants in, and they come with part of the plants that were harvested and blended in order to create this particular tincture. So by shaking it up, it then allows the actual ingredients to begin to... 
I should stop talking and just get down to it. <laughs> Here. That should do it. Now, just for the cork. Give me a second. I'm... I might not look it, but I'm not a strong boy. There we go. Now, stay still. Just need to... apply this to here. Just a little more. <laughs> that should do. Now, I want to check for a concussion. Sorry if I'm a little too close. Could you look into my eyes? I said eyes, not ears. <laughs> I can tell you're still looking at them. Look. Let me test you for a concussion, and then you can look at them all you want. Deal? Okay, deal. Now, look into my eyes. No erratic movement. Pupils aren't dilated. That's good. I don't see any bumps. You don't feel weird, do you? Um, dizzy or anything? How about confused? You said you didn't know where you were, but I don't see any signs of a concussion, so I think you're out of the woods with that. Well, figuratively. <laughs> you had me worried there for a second. If I had to guess, though, I think you've got some fatigue. I'm not sure how you got here, but whatever happened really took it out of you. <laughs> oh, yeah, you fell from the sky. No, 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 I, I believe you. It's just, um, well, you're not a mage, are you? Well, yeah, mages are real. Wizards, sorcerers, clerics. I'd love to meet one one day. I actually think they're really cool. Why do I think they're cool? Well, let me put it this way. I can make potions, salves, even poisons if I really wanted to. But all of those things come from things that already exist. While mages can create something from nothing, just through pure force of will, or belief, or whatever else they have. What, do they not have mages where you're from? That's something. Where are you from? Oh, wow. I've never heard of there. I'll have to get Brother to pull out the maps when we get back to the cabin. Well, I'm from here. Well, Zetria. Uh, well, actually, I live in a cabin with my brother. He's a little moody, but he's nice enough. He likes to act like he doesn't care, but uh, I know he does. Oh, um, yeah, the deal. Uh, I said you could look at my ears. Well, fine. 
here. Um, take a look. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> yeah. I said look, not touch. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. It's just my ears are sensitive. Besides, touching the ears of someone like me is personal. They felt nice. Well, um, thanks, I guess. No one's ever told me that before. Uh, I was thinking. Do you have anywhere to go? You said you're not from here, and the nearest town is a few days away, and you, you don't exactly look equipped for traveling. If you don't have any friends... Well, how about we go back to my place? I, oh, I don't mean it like that, unless, no, no, um, it's, it's just, look, there's lots of room at the cabin, and I wouldn't feel good leaving someone here alone in the state you're in. And if you're staying with me, I can keep looking after you. Would that be okay with you? <laughs> Great. The, the cabin's not far, and I'm sure we could find some room with for you. Or you could bunk with me. Or, um, I could bunk with my brother. I should probably bunk with my brother. Um, oh, my brother. I haven't told you about my brother. His name's Kayo. You'll love him. He might be a little cold at first, but don't let it get to you. I'm sure someone like you would win him over fast. Hmm? How come we live in the forest? Well, that's a little complicated. Living in Runica is expensive, and my brother and I were born out here, so we never really thought about moving anywhere else. Besides, we have everything we need here. We grow our own food, I have my herb garden, and Kayo has his peace and quiet, and if we ever need any money, I just make a few sows and Kayo travels to Runica to sell them. They actually fetch uh, quite a decent price, you know. I have what some people may call a refined technique. That's right, if you need a salve for a small cut or bruise, you won't find any better this side of the Spine Mountains. Well, yeah, cuts and bruises heal pretty quick, but with my salves, they heal a little quicker. Whoa, whoa, s steady there. Don't try and stand just yet. If I didn't catch you, you probably would have hit your head again. Maybe you need a quick cat nap before you go anywhere. Sorry. <laughs> Bad joke. But here, how about you rest your head on my lap for a while? I'll keep an eye out, and once you've rested, we'll head back to the cabin. I think you'd like it. I can't wait to show you my herb garden. Hmm? You can't sleep? I know a little Sylvan. I could try talking you to sleep. Oh, um, I can't cast magic. Nekos can't do magic. Yeah, we're, um, what's called magically mute. We can still have magic used on us but we just can't cast it. But, uh, Sylvan isn't actually me doing magic. It's a primordial language, so it's not exactly a powerful one, but the idea is that the magic is in the words, not the person speaking them. 
I actually met some fae while wandering the forest. I don't know what kind of fae they were. They're tricky little creatures, though. They seemed to take a liking to me for some reason. They were searching for some harvest vine when I ran into them, and I just happened to know where some grow, so I took them there. Anyway, they were really grateful, and they gave me whatever they had on hand as a thank you. And what they had on hand was a couple of books on herbalism. The only problem was the books were all written in Sylvan. Most of what's in those kind of books are beyond someone like me, but I taught myself Sylvan as best I could. I'm nowhere near fluent, but I might know enough to get you to go to sleep. We don't have to, though, if you don't want to. You want to? Okay, great. Just lie still. Take a breath. Clear your mind. And think calming thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> 